Are you an expert on current events, history, government, and more? Well, it's your time to prove it. Right now, 16 teams of incredibly smart high school students from all over the country are competing for the chance to face off in our ultimate championship worth $15,000. It's time to take the Spectrum News Challenge. Hey everyone, I am Amrit Singh. Welcome to the Spectrum News Challenge finale. There are 15,000 reasons why this episode is gonna be something special. For the past 10 weeks, teams from across the United States have been facing off in our tournament-style quiz competition, and the two amazing teams that have made it through to the finals are Team Computer Scientists from North Carolina, led by Team Captain Jacob, and Team Model UN from Florida, led by Team Captain Ananya. The winning team will not only grab the coveted Spectrum News Challenge trophy, but also $15,000, that's $5,000 each, provided by BMW. So, let's get right into it. Here are the rules for round one. In round one, you will play as a team, answering a series of fill-in-the-blank questions, each of them worth 15 points. After each question, I will ask only the team captain for the team's final answer. All right, teams, here we go. This round's topic is civil rights. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. When Thomas Jefferson wrote those words in the Declaration of Independence, he was referring to what America's founding fathers believed were people's human and civil rights. But what's the difference between the two? Well, human rights are what we consider to be intrinsic to humanity. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted by the United Nations in response to the atrocities that occurred during the Second World War. So while human rights are derived from natural law, civil rights are declared by governments for the citizens of that country. The right to vote and freedom from discrimination are just some of the many civil rights that Americans are entitled to. As the world continues to change, new issues will highlight areas where human and civil rights need to be acknowledged, protected, and preserved. And we flip the coin backstage and Team Model UN will go first. As you know, around one category is civil rights. The two question topics in this category are leaders and headlines. Team Model UN, what you gonna be? All right, can we do headlines, please? You asked for it, you got it. Headlines, it is Team Model UN. Here we go. Now remember, you can talk through the answers, but only your team captain will show us that final pick. That's you, Ananya. Here we go with question one, and good luck. NFL quarterback Blank made global headlines by taking a knee during the national anthem in response to racial inequality. Is it A, Colin Kaepernick, B, Cam Newton, or C, Robert Griffin III? You went with A, Colin Kaepernick, and that's correct. Next question. In 1969, New York City newspapers were declaring that the Blank riots sparked the gay rights movement. Is it A, Haymarket, B, Stonewall, or C, Zoot Suit? You're going B, Stonewall, and that is correct. Next question. Sparked by the arrest of Rosa Parks, the blank bus boycott protested segregated seating. Is it A, Selma, B, Little Rock, or C, Montgomery? You're going C, Montgomery, and that is correct again. Next question. The Americans with Disabilities Act was signed into law by President Blank. Is it A, Ronald Reagan, B, Bill Clinton, or C, George H.W. Bush? I'm gonna go Clinton, is that okay? See so you thinking it through, but it is time okay, to I'm see go that card. You're going B, Bill Clinton. I'm sorry, it's C, George H.W. Bush. And last question. In 2023, the legendary singer of the hit tune Deo, blank, passed away after decades of civil rights activism. Is it A, Sam Cooke, B, Harry Belafonte, or C, Billie Holiday? I'm gonna go with, oh my God. Sam Cooke? Sam Cooke? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? Believe you. You're going with A, Sam Cooke. The correct answer is B, Harry Belafonte. I'm sorry about that, but Team Model UN, you got yourselves on the board there with 45 points. Good job. All right, Team Model UN put 45 points on the board. Team Computer Scientist, it's your turn to do the same. Your question topic here is leaders. Only your team captain's gonna show us the team's answers and your questions begin now. Question one, good luck. Born around 1820, Blank escaped slavery and was a conductor on the Underground Railroad. Is it A, Harriet Tubman, B, Ella Baker, or C, Ruby Bridges? You go with A, Harriet Tubman, and that's correct. Next question. A champion of nonviolent resistance, Mahatma Gandhi is an enduring social justice icon in, in his home country of Blank. Is it A, India, B, Malaysia, or C, China? You're going A, India, and that's correct. Next question. Alicia Garza, Patrice Cullors, and Opal Tometi were the founders of the organization Blank. Is it A, NAACP, B, Black Lives Matter, or C, the Loveland Foundation? I know a woman started BLM, so. You're going with B, Black Lives Matter, and that's correct. Next question. Co-founder of the magazine Ms. Blank is best known for her voice in the feminist movement for over five decades. Is it A, Angela Davis, 
B, Fannie Lou Hamer, or C, Gloria Steinem? Gloria sounds like a singer's name. That, that, that's that. That's Probably. Right. You're going C, Gloria Steinem, and that's correct. Next question, and for the sweep of the category, get in good trouble, necessary trouble, and redeem the soul of America, said blank on the Edmund Pettus Bridge in 2020. Is it A, John Lewis, B, Andrew Young, or C, David Halberstam? Sounds like John Lewis. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You're going A, John Lewis, and that is correct, Team Computer Scientists. You swept the category. You are now nice. up to 75 points, which means after our first round of this finale, Team Computer Scientists are at 75, Team Model UN at 45. Plenty of chances to put more points on the board, but before we ask any more questions, let's reintroduce you to our season finale contestants. First up, the computer scientists from North Carolina, and leading the team is Captain Jacob from Providence High School. Jacob's a member of the Technology Student Association. He's nationally ranked in architectural design and 3D modeling, and Jacob is a total history buff. Up next is Isha from Green Level High School. Isha is the founder of the Quantum Computing and Cybersecurity Clubs. She can identify the flags from every country around the world, and Isha dreams of working in tech for the FBI. And rounding out the team is Ian from Providence High School. He's on his school's championship quiz bowl team. Ian's a master chess player, and Ian can solve a Rubik's Cube in under 15 seconds. Their opponents are the Model UN team from Lakanto High School in Florida. And leading the team is Ananya. Ananya is raising awareness as the president of the Dementia Club. Ananya competes in state science fairs and Ananya loves to draw. Next up, it's Zachary. Zachary takes part in youth and government. Zachary is a district champion varsity swimmer and Zachary is a major car fanatic. And our final competitor is Shreya. Shreya is captain of the school's academic team. She's a member of HOSA, an organization that promotes career opportunities in healthcare and Shreya is a world-class equestrian. All right, when we come back, our contestants face off in our speed round. The topic, English literature. And later, a gentleman of a mystery newsmaker asks our final question. You're going to find out who it is as the championship finale of the Spectrum News Challenge continues. To be a contestant on the Spectrum News Challenge, sign up now at SpectrumNewsChallenge.com. We're back here on the finale episode of the Spectrum News Challenge where one of these teams is going home with $15,000. After round one, Team Computer Scientist is at 75, Team Model UN at 45. The teams are ready for round two, it's still close, so here are the rules. Round two is a speed round. There's one minute on the clock. Each member of the team will answer rapid fire, true or false questions. Each correct answer is worth 20 points. The more you answer correctly, the more points you earn. And in round two, we're heading to the library because the topic is English literature. Throughout history, books have had a profound impact on the world. They have been a vessel to communicate knowledge. They've shaped our understanding of life. They've sparked cultural and artistic revolutions. The very act of reading, be it through book, magazine, or screen, shapes minds and lives the world over. According to entrepreneur.com, 85% of self-made millionaires report that they read at least two books a month. And as it turns out, diving into a page turner can also benefit your health and happiness. Just like going for a jog exercises your cardiovascular system, reading regularly improves memory function by giving your brain a good workout. Reading can teach us new ways to think, imagine, and make sense of our experiences. As Dr. Seuss once wrote, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. The end. Team Computer Scientists, you're in the lead, so you get to pick first. The question topics you can choose from are bestsellers and in the classroom. Uh, we're going to go in the classroom. All right, in the classroom it is, Team Computer Scientist. Now remember, when I call your name, the only two answers are true or false. Let's put one minute on the clock, and your speed round starts now. Jacob, To Kill a Mockingbird is narrated by a young girl named Boo Radley. False. That's correct, it's Scout Finch. Ian, Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451 gets its name from the temperature at which book paper catches true. fire and burns. That's correct. 
Isha, The Grapes of Wrath is a novel by John Steinbeck set during the Great Depression. True. That's correct, Jacob. Call me Ishmael is the first line of Herman Melville's Moby Dick. True. That's correct, Ian. The wide-grinning Cheshire Cat originates from Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. True. That's correct, Isha. In William Golding's Lord of the Flies, a group of boys in prison form their own society. False. That's correct, they're on a deserted island. Jacob, one of the most frequently banned books is 1984 by George Orwell. True. That's correct, Ian. Dr. Jekyll created the monster in Mary Shelley's novel, Frankenstein. False. That's correct, it's a Dr. Frankenstein who created that monster. Great job there, team computer scientists. Another sweep, you are now up to 235 points. All right, Team Model UN, here we go for your speed round. Your topic is bestsellers. Now remember, when I call your name, the only two answers are true or false. Let's put one minute on the clock, and your speed round starts now. Ananya. The Twilight Saga tells the story of Bella Swan, a high schooler who falls in love true. with vampire Edward Cullen. That's true. Zachary is correct. James Patterson was the first author to sell more than one million e-books. True. That's correct. Shreya, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is the fourth book in J.K. Rowling's False. iconic series. That's correct, it's the third book. Ananya, Stephen King's novel Christine is about a car possessed by evil supernatural spirits. True. That's correct, Zachary. Mystery novelist Agatha Christie wrote Murder on the Orient Express. True. That's correct, Shreya, Dorothy Gale encounters the Tin Man first in The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. True. I'm sorry, it's false. It was a scarecrow first. Ananya, in J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, Frodo Baggins is a hobbit. True. That's correct. Zachary, the girl with the dragon tattoo was originally published in Swedish. False. I'm sorry, that one was true, but good job there, Team Model UN. You are now up to 165 points, which means halfway through this competition, we got Team Computer Scientists at 235, Team Model UN at 165. Team Computer Scientists, still not a question answered wrong in this competition today. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling great. Feeling good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like we are doing the best we can, and that's all that we can hope for. Yeah, you are doing the best you possibly can. You haven't got anything wrong yet. Great job there, Team Computer Scientist. Team Model UN, this next round has so many bonus points available. You all feel like you can get a comeback going, right? Yeah, I mean, I believe in us. We've been doing pretty good in the competition so far, so I hope we're okay. That's right. If pass is precedent, you're going to be right in this till the end. Computer Scientist, Team Model UN, you all are all doing great. And things can change pretty quickly in round three, so here are the rules. In this round, teamwork matters more than ever. Each one of you will answer a series of multiple choice questions at the same time, and each correct answer is worth 25 points. If everyone gets it right, I'll throw in a bonus 25 points. Everyone loves a bonus, and for this round, we're learning about what's in our wallets and our bank accounts. It's money. Money makes the world go round. So understanding how credit, debt, savings, and stocks work is key to keeping up. Making smart financial decisions now can have a big impact on options for the future. Credit is the ability to borrow money with an expectation you'll pay it back over time with added interest. Building a good credit history makes lenders more likely to extend a person credit, but put too much in credit and you'll go into debt. Debt is the money owed to a person or entity. Debt can take on the form of loans, mortgages on houses, and credit cards. But too much debt can lead to financial stress and a lowered credit score. And that score is how future lenders decide if you're credit worthy. And then there's savings, the money people put aside to access for emergencies or vacations, even retirement, or special purchases and investments. One form of investment can be stocks, also known as equities. Companies sell shares of their ownership in the form of stocks, and those who are stockholders can vote on key corporate decisions and also participate in profits by either receiving a dividend or a little payout of the profit, or even selling that stock when it goes up in value. All in all, it pays to start saving and investing early because money and time are two resources worth spending wisely. Well, we just saw a different side of Benjamin Franklin right there. All right, teams, the two question topics are credit and debt and savings and stocks. Team Computer Scientists, you're in the lead. You get to pick first. What's it going to be? We're going to go savings and stocks. 
All right, team computer scientists, your category is savings and stocks. Remember, I need answers from all of you in this one, and when you know it, you can show it. Good luck. Here's question one. Which is the ominous name given to the stock market crash that led to the Great Depression in 1929? Is it A, Black Sunday, B, Black Tuesday, Tuesday. C, Black Saturday, Black or D, Black Wednesday? You're going B, Black Tuesday, and that's correct with the bonus points. Next question. Which term refers to a period of rising stock prices? Is it A, bear market, B, bull market, C, lion market, or D, dog market? You're all going B, bull market, and you're right again with the bonus. It's B, bull market. Next question. Which former financier was known for running the largest Ponzi scheme in history? Bernie Is it Madoff. A, Bernie Madoff, yeah. B, Lou Pearlman, C, Seth Rothstein, or D, Tom Petters? You're all going A, Bernie Madoff, and for the bonus again, you are correct, it is A, Bernie Madoff. Last question, and for the sweep of the category, which American company became the first publicly traded company to reach a trillion dollar market cap? Is it A, Apple, it's gonna be B, Apple Tesla, yeah. C, Amazon, or D, Microsoft? This is the first $2 trillion company. Should Time I, to see those should I go cards. Microsoft? You, wanna, you wanna split? Okay. Uh, you, go, you go C, I go A, you go D. Okay, A, D, C. The correct answer is A, Jacob. That's correct, it's A, Apple. Nice work on that round, Team Computer Scientists. You're now up to 560 points. All right, Team Model UN, plenty of bonus points available here. Your category is credit and debt. Now remember, I need answers from all three members. When you know it, you can show it. Here we go, question one, good luck. Who is currently serving as the 78th Secretary of the Treasury of the United States? Is it A, Anthony Fox, B, Janet Yellen, C, Penny Pritzker, or D, Ashton Carter? Oh, um, I'm, I'm leaning towards A. Yeah, I'm also So you guys go, both go A, I'll go D. Yeah. Two A's and a D. I'm sorry, the correct answer is B, Janet Yellen. Next question. The debt ceiling is the maximum amount of money the U.S. government can do what with? Is it A, borrow, B, spend, C, borrow. gift, or D, invest? I think it's A. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm Are you sure it's borrow? You think so. All right, you're all going A, borrow, and you're all right for some bonus points. It's A, borrow. Next question. Which is the highest credit score a person can have? Is it A, 500, B, 750, C, 850, or D, 1,000? Better be right. You're all going B750. I'm sorry, it's C850. And last question. Which country was the first to use paper money? Is it A, China, B, Japan, C, United States, or D, Germany? I think it's China. You're all going A China, and you are all correct for another set of bonus points. It is A China. Nice work, Model UN. You're up to 365, which means right now, going into this final round, Team Computer Scientists at 560, Team Model UN at 365. It's a close one because up next, our mission newsmaker, a Washington, D.C. VIP, asks a final question worth 500 points. Still anyone's game to win, and we're going to crown this season's Spectrum News Challenge champion. So don't go anywhere. The Spectrum News Challenge is going to be right back. Welcome back, and it all comes down to this on the Spectrum News Challenge. The championship trophy is here on set, and we are just moments away from one of the teams winning $15,000. Right now, Team Computer Scientist is in the lead and Team Model UN is trailing by 195 points. Our last question is worth 500 points, so it's still anyone's game to win. And here to deliver that final question is our mystery newsmaker. This person is the first second gentleman of the United States, married to Vice President Kamala Harris. In his role, he is focused on equal access to justice and legal representation. He worked as a lawyer for over 30 years and is currently a distinguished visiting professor at Georgetown University Law Center. Our final mystery newsmaker is the second gentleman of the United States, Doug Emhoff. Hi kids, good luck on this final question. Any plane carrying the vice president is called what? Is it A, Air Force Two, B, Eagle One, C, Concord or D, Endeavor. A little luck coming to you from the second gentleman. Your final question once again is, any plane carrying the vice president is called what? Is it A, Air Force Two, B, Eagle One, C, Concord, or D, Endeavor? Because Concord is the really fast plane that got discontinued, I'm pretty sure. Eagle One? Yeah. 
Oh, I think it's Air Force. Uh, okay, go with the Eagle one, I guess. Is it Eagle one? I think so. I think it's Eagle one. I think it is. All right, team captains. To determine the final champions of the Spectrum Use Challenge, team captains, show us those cards. You're both going B. Yes. The correct oh. answer was A, Air Force Two. That means team computer scientists, you came in with the lead and you're leaving as the champions of the Spectrum News Challenge. Well done team, congratulations. And here's what you win. Let's bring in that check. Congratulations, we promised you big money. Take a look, we weren't lying. $15,000 and look, it's even made out to you already. Spectrum News Challenge champions, congratulations to you. That's $5,000 each provided by BMW. Jacob, just tell me how you're feeling right now. It feels awesome, I'm really excited. <laughs> Amazing, Isha, Ian, how y'all feeling? Well, my bank account's gonna be a lot bigger now. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, I'm just, it's beyond belief. It's amazing. Well, don't go spending it all in one place, but we are so excited to give this all to you. Congratulations again. I hope you all are proud of yourselves. I hope all of our teams that competed in this tournament are proud of themselves. They all did amazing. Thanks to all of them, and thank you for watching the Spectrum News Challenge. The Spectrum News Challenge is supported by BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest information, balanced coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.